It's a mystery that has haunted a Chicago suburb for more than a half a century. A little girl found murdered, no one ever charged until now. Dean Reynolds has our report. For 53 years, the grave of seven-year-old Maria Ridolf was undisturbed, her unsolved murder case as cold as the ground that held her coffin. But this morning, her remains were exhumed to see if modern science and DNA can support the authorities' belief that they've cracked this case at last. This was the murder of a seven-year-old girl. Uh, we want to bring the best minds available uh, to us uh, to have them conduct a thorough examination of her remains. On that December evening back in 1957, Maria's friend Kathy Sigmund recalled being together outside when a man called Johnny asked if they wanted to play. Kathy went to get her mittens, but when she returned, Johnny and the little girl were gone. Maria's body was found the following April. Early this month, police in Washington, acting on a tip from Illinois, arrested and charged Jack Daniel McCullough, a 71-year-old former policeman from the Seattle area, with kidnapping and murder. Back in 1957, his name was John Tessier. He was Maria's neighbor. When questioned by police then, he said he was on a train to Chicago when she disappeared. But three years ago, after he had changed his name to McCullough, an old girlfriend produced an unused train ticket of his from the very same day. That sparked an intense focus on him and more. We've been fairly astonished at the recollection of some of the local residents. And more than half a century later, this case is no longer cold. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.